I awoke to the last human-made sound I would ever hear. I looked around the bunker and noticed no one was moving. It took me a few seconds to realize that they were all dead. I ran outside the bunker while a horrible thought began to take shape. Once outside, the only sound was that of a brutal, toxic wind hammering abandoned cars left on the empty streets. I wandered around Aurelia Antica for many hours, hoping to find someone else. Someone like me. Every lonely block confirmed what I feared to be true. The apocalypse had actually happened. Life on Earth no longer existed. And I, Gilgamesh, is all that remains. While my mind continued to contemplate my new reality, I ascended the steps leading to the Sistine Chapel. Listening to the screaming silence of the chapel, old memories began to return. Over 5,000 years ago, I was the proud king and high priest of Uruk. My subjects followed and idolized my very existence and decisions. I enjoyed everything a mortal man could desire. Nothing was kept or forbidden. But all that was not enough. I was aging and there was no medicine, knowledge, or kingdom that could stop the inevitable fate that plagues all men. But I was not like all men. Often, under the cloak of night, I would climb the steps of the temple. I would spend many hours looking up at the stars, wondering about the gods. One of the many nights... A bright comet cut through the cover of night. It exploded against the desert sand in the outskirts of Ur. An inexpressible excitement took a hold of all my senses. I commanded my servants to ready my chariot and headed for the desert. Once I reached what I had thought was a comet, I realized how wrong I had been. It was a sphere, half buried in the sand. It had a bright light emanating from inside. Maybe it was excitement. Maybe it was euphoria. But there was something or someone calling me to enter. The things I saw could not be described or understood. I continued to explore. And that was when I saw it for the first time. He had the shape of a man, but unlike any man I had ever seen. His legs were broken, twisted out of shape, and he appeared to be experiencing an insufferable amount of pain. To my surprise, he looked up, pointed at me, and began to speak. He made deep, unearthly sounds I had never heard before but I could still understand. His name was Utna Pishtin. He knew my name and my thoughts. His mission was to save his kind by transporting and reviving them in a red planet in our solar system. But during the trip, his vessel was hit by meteorites forcing him to land. He was hurt and needed help to continue his mission. A madness took over me and I asked, What will you give me in exchange for saving your life? I did not realize it then, but the words Utna Pishtin would utter next would change my life forever and alter the course of human history. He said, I will make you immortal.